Channel 3 is your back-to-school authority, and we know parents everywhere are dreading that first time Ugh. pulling out the lunchbox, opening up the fridge, and then trying to find something the kids will actually eat. We were just talking about that. So stressed <laughs> about this. Right, Emily? It's the worst. It's the worst. That's why we do it. We give our husbands the job. That's right. We, we love don't you guys. Do it. <laughs> Emily Love from Make Food Lovely is back in the Great Day Kitchen with some great ideas to try for back-to-school, and in this case, great ideas for our husbands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you're always so creative with whatever you do with food. I love how you're giving us some ideas, though, for back to school because, you know, kids, they don't like uh, the touch. They don't yep. like the taste sometimes, the texture. The smell. The smell, smell. can be super yeah. triggering oh. for a kid. For me, too. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big on smells. If it doesn't smell right, it's not a thing. Okay. Yeah. Gotta go nope. away. That's my seven-year-old too. Like yeah. he, he. It used to be sounds, and now he's like, Ugh, what is that odor? That I smell? <laughs> so, some people are really sensitive, like sensitive noses. So if it doesn't smell, if you can't smell it, you can't eat it. Yep. I firmly believe that. Really? But, okay. Yeah. Um, but these are what like do we have here? these are like uh, more sophisticated lunchables. <gasps> yeah. So, thank you for That's noticing a great that. Great. Yeah. Thank, thank you for noticing cake. that, Kayla. Yeah. So, uh, so this one is actually more in line with like a classic lunchable that we used to have. So it has some deli meats and cheese and crackers mm -hmm. and then I have cucumbers where I put the, everything but the bagel seasoning on these are cucumbers actually are very popular right now they're very popular and the Persian ones are great because they're seedless yeah. so they're and they're not as crunchy everyone's eating a cucumber a day oh yeah oh god that kid on so TikTok. Crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, you know what's interesting is that everything seasoning I your kids are okay with that? My, the, yes, they actually really like it. Wow. I mean, but it can be on anything. Like they might put it on pasta. Like they're, okay. they're they just like it. I think it's a little salty too. It's a little salty. Yeah, it adds a crunch. Love it. Everything bagel seasoning. And then the grapes. These are champagne grapes, which they're only seasonal from August to September, and they're so sweet, cute, mm. and adorable. And I also yeah. like them for any new parents who are worried about giving your kids grape because it's a choking hazard. Right. You can't choke on this. Because you have to cut them. them. Yep. So. These were the first grapes I was allowed. To, I allowed my kids to eat unattended, yeah. <laughs> like without you don't supervision. Even have to worry about cutting them up. I never yeah. even thought of that. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Wow. This, is, this is a safe grape. I yeah. love it. And then over here, and then this, this one is kind of like a standard picky eater uh, lunch. Yeah. So um, the big thing that we always talk about is like, what is the carbohydrate? What is the protein? And mm -hmm. what is the fat? And we talk nice about balance. it in our we talk about it in our house is like, okay, carbohydrates make us fast, and protein makes us strong, and fat myelinates our brain and makes us smarter. So mm -hmm. we talk about things in those regards so every time we get that pushback from our kids they're like well I don't want to eat that you're like well you need a protein yeah. so what protein could you want and I like these Lunchables for that reason you can have like okay the big portion is for the carbohydrate and then you have one for protein one for fruit and then a sweet treat which are these little skin and even swimmers um, the <laughs> other thing that I really like is that this is my favorite hack is that any of these tubi yogurts you keep them in the freezer oh, and they want to keep them in they defrost yeah, they during the day out. but also it can serve as an ice pack so yeah, it's kind of a, right. it's like a, a nice little hack and yeah. then this I made. Is it like an uncrustable? It is, but I made it ourselves. So we t I took two slices of bread, put sun butter and jam, and then I used a cookie cutter and pushed it down on it. Love and then it. I used a fork to pinch the side. Cute. So I know a lot of kids like love the Uncrustables mm -hmm. and I, I get it. And I was but just like, allergies but allergies are a real thing in schools now. So you can't the real have peanut thing. butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's then, why you use the sun butter, right? Yep. And yeah. also they're expensive. A lot they of these like pre-made things are, yeah. are super expensive. Yeah. So and you, all the additives that are in that stuff, when you're buying it from the store, it's not going to be as healthy as if you're making it from home and you know where everything's coming from. And I also think that like if your kids like are not into crust like at all, yeah, right? It just gets and they, rid of it for you. And you haven't even bought the Encrustables yet. Yep. This is a great, great hack. I love right. that. And then, okay. yes. and then this I wanted to show you guys. This is one of those viral recipes that I actually think is fantastic. So you take a tortilla and you make a slice just in about half, or like all the, halfway across. Okay. And then you put either a cheese, a sauce, a protein, and a vegetable or whatever the combination is that you want. Oh, wow. And then you fold oh, the wrap. And then Cute. it becomes a sandwich. A sandwich. That I is amazing. Know. So it's just one of those things that, like, this is one of those viral things. Where I was like, okay, I subscribe. Yeah. I 
I like this every time yeah. I see one. But you could do it with anything. You could do, you know, if you want to make a bougie one, it could be like prosciutto, fig jam, you know, oh a nice God. cheddar or so mozzarella. Kids and adult approved. That yes. is amazing. Yes, and if you have a, someone who likes things warm, you can also just put that in a toaster like a oven. Little, oh, I'll make wow. it like a little, little panini. panini. It's a little oh. panini. Oh. <laughs> That's I amazing. Love. And I see you have a lot of these other fun things here too. When like, in oh, yeah. doubt, use a cookie cutter. When in doubt, use a cookie cutter on a slice of cheese, mm -hmm. you know, make it a star, a heart, whatever it is. It will just make your kid think, okay, like that's kind of fun. Like I didn't want to eat this big block of cheese, but I will, in fact, nibble on this starfish. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't trade this. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, this would be a no trade these what if you What if you had a star cheese yeah. in there, Kate? Yeah. Or like, a, what is a salami? <laughs> yep. So yeah. salami, a star, and a cracker. Yeah. Some so pistachios. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, these would, things are fun because they make our food interactive. The kids can kind of play around a little bit with them when we have the shapes and sizes and things. And I saw know? the interview you did with the chef of the Shipwright's Daughter, and he yes. said that like allowing the kids to be the ones who customize the experience yep. mm -hmm. also gives them more buy-in that mm -hmm. they might want to try things. Right. So whatever you can do to kind of encourage kids to explore more with their food, I mean, playing with your food is a good thing. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think doing little things like this is a is kind of a, a low stakes way. Of doing Absolutely. It. Yeah. And you know, another tip is to even if you're packing something, for example, I don't think my son will go for the cucumbers with the everything seasoning. But if you keep packing the same stuff that mm -hmm. you know they're they're not you know not going to eat in the moment, there may be that magic moment where yep. they actually try it. And they say to keep pushing it. You know, if your children aren't eating veggies at the table every night, keep giving them veggies every single Have night. Have them be mm -hmm. there. Because they will be curious that one moment. Yep. Maybe when you want get up to go to the bathroom or go to wash a dish or something, they or are going to touch it. Or maybe there's a kid in class who wants the cucumber and they're like, oh, if somebody else is eating it, maybe right. I'll eat it. Exactly. Right? As long as they do it with only veggies. My friends are doing it, so I'm going to yeah. do it too. Again, only applies to veggies. And exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is how you can find Emily, thank you so much. We appreciate oh, it. Guys, thanks and so much for having me. Oh, it's starting. You two happy kindergarten to join.